chemicals into molecular machinery into more specific uh, types of biology, classes, orders, family, genera, and so on. I'm saying that the more that we have known, we knew that the laws, we, when we discovered the laws of nature, we saw that they were fine-tuned, but the more we knew, we saw that the Big Bang had to have the right speed and right amount of matter. And the more we knew, we saw that certain chemicals had to have the proper they, they did, and that our planet had to be in the right place in the solar system, and our solar system the right place in the, gang, in the galaxy, and that the, the, the uh, uh, origin of life is, is, uh, had to be accounted for, and the uh, properties of certain biochemicals. And with Darwin's black, <coughs> black box, I s essentially say design goes to this depth on the scale. And with the edge of evolution, I say it's much closer, much further down here, that random processes can probably explain changes up to the species level in biology. <coughs> and somewhere in the middle there lies the broad edge of random uh, evolution. And uh, uh, just briefly, that profound questions remain unanswered, like the problem of evil. Um, because if you're going to say, design extends all this far, you have to admit that some things that don't like us and we don't like them, like malaria, you know, required design as well. Uh, so, you know, I'll leave that to theologians and philosophers to deal with. <clears throat> but nonetheless, this problem is not new. And the English poet William Blake, uh, in his well-known poem, The Tiger, or at least the first couple lines are well-known, um, contemplated this too. He's thinking about this magnificent animal with these very sharp teeth and claws. And he says, did he who made the lamb make thee? Did he who made the lamb make malaria or other things that are, are, uh, can cause us harm? And my own feeling, uh, for what it's worth, uh, and again, I have a PhD, but I'm no philosopher, uh, is that if you're going to make life, if you're going to set up a stage where intelligent creatures can live their lives and do interesting things and be moral agents, you have to design a stage which will allow that to occur. You've got to build things. You've got to build the, uh, build the platform and so on. And, and that the platform turns out to be surprisingly intricate and uh, turned out to require a lot more effort uh, than we knew. <coughs> but nonetheless, that, that all the world's a stage that Good things, love can happen, and bad things can happen uh, too. Uh, so, with that overly long uh, discussion, uh, I thanks very much for your attention.